All Bucky Brooks has Tua as the number one QB in the draft. Thoughts? You know, Richard, I saw that. I saw Bucky Brooks. Um, and it's and in my notes here, I have it. Uh, see? Folks are now uh, ranking Tua number one ahead of Burrow. Uh, I was going to talk about that. But since you brought it up, all right, let's 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 express ourselves here on that one. I like Bucky Brooks. I saw him uh, over at the uh, Senior Bowl a couple weeks ago. Does a good job. Uh, my my issue with that ranking is, Bucky, you're not drafting Tua, so you don't care. So it's easy for you to say Tua moves ahead of Burrow because he's healthy now. What does that mean? You're still taking a broken down player, right? I mean, his hip broke, right? You had to correct it. You had to fix it. His ankles are busted up. You had to fix them, right? You're you're not getting somebody that is actually well put together and still healthy and still original. No, you're you're kind of buying a car that's got, you know, a couple of crashes. They, uh, it's a scratch and dent. They they twisted up the frame and had to straighten out the frame a little bit, you know. So maybe your car drives a little bit sideways. It's crabbing a little bit, you know that kind of stuff. That's Tua. It's yes, sir. And it's it's one of those things where you're you're drafting a guy that is broken. Okay, broken. Now, I love this. That's cool. Cool. He's play. I like it. <laughs> oh, that is good stuff. But anyway, uh, with Tua, I, uh, I, it, it's ridiculous. What can I tell you? I know he's an excellent passer. I love him as a passer. I am wowed as much as anybody with his passing skills. The kid is accurate. He can lead receivers. Ball placement is exceptional. It's why we like him in, 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 at the next level. But he's broken. So Bucky doesn't have to draft him. So it's easy for him to put him number one. And when he goes out there and breaks down again, Bucky will say, well, no, I, I had him ranked based on the passing. You know, we all know about his injury history. I mean, listen, I'm the guy that's not taking him at five. Remember, you, you got to know my answer for all of this already. I don't care if Bucky Brooks puts him at number one. I don't care if Mel Kuyper grows more hair and gets his full hair back and is not, you know, puffing it up and trying to hide those spots. And all of a sudden he says, Tua is God. Tua is broken down. Tua will break down again. That, that's the other thing. I love the people that think, well, because he has all these operations, all these surgeries, am I supposed to lower him in his rankings here? Yes, you are. Am I supposed to think that it's going to continue? Yes, you are. Because most of the time, the guys that are injury prone stay injury prone. What are you going to do? Right? I mean, Devontae Parker had a couple of injuries in college. He then has continued to have injuries in the NFL for the first four years of his career. It took the fifth year, and he still had some injuries in the fifth year, to kind of stay on the field and have a great year. But the injuries continued. Yatiel Green, injured all the time in college, injured all the time in the NFL, it was over. Uh, what was that, um, what's the name of that running back for Clemson a couple of years ago? Really talented kid. Buffalo took him, and um, he, it's with an S. He had injuries in college. He continued to have injuries in the NFL. He was fragile. Oh, what's his name? Come on, help me out on the chat board there. Somebody help me out. Anyway, 
but th- these are things that it, it's Jay Ajayi was uh, an, an injury prone player. And those things have kind of, you know, hung around and the, the, and the knee was already beaten down by the time it got to the NFL. And the guy never saw that second big contract because he was going to be an injury prone player. Well, they knew that, didn't they? Yeah. They well, knew that going in, the that there round. was this degenerative Neat. situation. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Here, the Herbert situation, okay? McShay has put him at 13. Yeah. And a lot of people have Herbert going 7, 10, 5. You know, right. it's all over the place. But it ain't as far as 13. And McShay has said, look. He is probably going to go because of what he did at the Senior Bowl and the physical attributes that he brings. But he has stayed steadfast and said, the reason I don't have him, and I have him at 13, I'm keeping him there. He didn't wow me. He did not, you know, there was no moment like we talked. Plus, his attitude, his lack of, well, he didn't say maturity, he said that he's a different cat. Right. Well, maturity is the, the yeah, problem with him. Exactly. But he, McShay is like, he's probably, somebody is probably going to reach. Oh, yeah, take they do early. this. And he's probably, look, he is probably going to go before 10. The way he's built. But I have him on my board at 13. Yeah. And that's, is it what you think he should be? Or are they trying to project where they're going to go? You know what I mean? And McShay has said, look, he's probably going to go before where I have him, but where I have him rated is here. And that's the thing with some of these drafts and mock drafts and all this. It's are you trying to project where teams are going to take him or where you actually see him as a player? You know what I mean? There is a difference. You know? You understand my point? I got you. And it's, and it's like, until you actually sit there and talk to the person who, we throw all these people out, oh, this one has them project, and people have us moving up to draft Tua at three. Right. Right. Are they trading up to go get an injury but gun? <laughs> but, they, but they don't have to do that. So that's why exactly. they, they don't care because when they're right, see, the problem that's going to happen is that a lot of you out there, that's a trade up for Tua. When he breaks down, you're then going to say, oh, well, the Dolphins are idiots. But then you were saying a trade up. So you can't have it both ways. You're so desperate for a quarterback that you'll take him. But then when he breaks down, and you know in the back of your mind that he breaks down all the time, you're going to act surprised or you're going to rip the Dolphins. That's the part. And there's a bunch of phonies out there that are going to do that. You know? And to me, again, it's nice that Bucky Brooks has him ranked up and all that good stuff. It means nothing to me. The guy's injury prone. I wouldn't draft him at all. Okay? If I draft him, it would be late first, second round. You know he's not going to go there. You know he's going to go in the top five. He's going to go early in the draft. Somebody's going to trade up for him because, again, we're a quarterback-starved league. So they're going to take him, and they're going to pray that he can stay healthy. 